Hey guys, I'm Steph from RocketTems.com and in this tutorial we will talk about the Team Options interface of the Creativo team and more exactly about the logo and fav icon. So let's go to our dashboard and then go to Appearance, Team Options and the first setting that you see here in the Team Options interface is called Logo Fav icon. Right, so uh, this is the place where you will set everything that's related to the logo and of course the fav icon uh, of your site. The first uh, setting is actually an upload uh, field which allows you to uh, select an existing image from your media li library um, or upload a new logo. So if I click on the upload logo, I can either select an existing image or I can uh, upload my own logo. Uh, by default, because I have the um, uh, business template installed, I have I already have a logo um, here. So uh, the, the second uh, the second field. Um, okay, you can remove this by simply clicking on this button and uh, click on upload, uh, and of course upload your own logo. Uh, let me revert uh, these uh, changes. Okay. Okay, I have the logo here, select. Right, the second uh, option is called Retina Logo. So this is very useful if you want your site to be um, available for uh, Retina-enabled devices like, like uh, MacBook Pros and uh, iMacs and so on. Right, so um, you can uh, upload just like you upload a normal logo uh, just remember that when you create your Retina logo, uh, it should be twice the size of your normal logo. So, for example, if your normal logo is uh, 175 by 35 pixels, your Retina logo should be twice that uh, value. Uh, now, we have a new uh, option here, which is called Mobile, mobile Logo Upload. Uh, again, this is a field which allows you, allows you um, to upload uh, a logo which will be used only for uh, mobile devices with a resolution lower than uh, 830 pixels. So uh, this includes um, smartphones mostly. Uh, this is useful because uh, maybe for a mobile um, device you don't want to have a big logo and maybe you just want to have uh, something like a symbol or uh, similar. Right. Another option that we have here is called uh, custom URL. So if you enable this uh, uh, option here, click on this uh, button, right, you will have a new field which allows you to specify a new custom URL. So if I pay, if I enter here um, http google.com and I save the changes, let me review the site in a different tab. Okay, now if I um, if you put your mouse over the logo, you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen that the google.com uh, link is available. Now, by default, your logo will always point to your uh, main domain name. So, if your uh, domain name is called site. Uh, com, your logo will always take you there unless you make use of the uh, custom URL option. Now, uh, the following options are used to add some padding to your logo, like top, bottom, left and right padding. By padding, you should understand uh, a spacing area above, below, to the left and to the right of the logo. By default, we have uh, 25 pixels above and 25 pixels below the logo. You can change this by simply drag, dragging this uh, slider here, right? So if I want to have maybe 60 pixels uh, above and uh, just 30 pixels below, I, I simply drag this slider here, click on save all changes, options updated, go back to my site, hit refresh, 
and as you can see now the logo has been positioned uh, more to the bottom because we have a 60 pixels um, padding top right so I'm going to revert these changes here okay 25 Right, so um, you can also add the padding to the left and to the right if you want to. Right, save all changes, go back, hit refresh, and you will see that um, now the options have been reverted back. The next up option is called Logo Resize, and this is a very useful option. If you enable it, you'll see a new field which allows you to enter a new value for your logo width. So if your logo is too big uh, and you want to uh, resize it without using an image editing software, um, you can actually make use of this uh, option, option here. Okay, um, remember that in terms of good design, you should always uh, use small logos. Um, I've seen a lot of people um, that are uh, making uh, big logos uh, and their website are not as good looking as uh, it should because exactly because of um, the logo so the logo is a very important aspect aspect of your site so make sure uh, you make a nice logo and uh, always tries to make uh, try to make it as small as possible uh, okay now the the next uh, field is called the fab icon upload and uh, as you already know by now, uh, this allows you to upload your um, custom uh, fav icon. To generate a fav icon, you can go to dynamic drive. This is not our site, it's, um, it's an external resource which you can use to generate uh, your own uh, fav icon. Right, I'm going to disable the logo resize because I don't need it right now, but before doing that, I'm going to show you how that works. So I'm going to enter here 100 pixels, save all changes. Uh, my logo is uh, a lot bigger than 100 pixels, so you should definitely see a uh, resized logo. So if I click refresh, you'll see now that the logo is actually uh, resized to have only 100 pixels in width because that's the value that we entered here. I'm going to turn off this option. I want to have my normal logo. Okay, so moving forward, you have here the text logo option. This means, uh, if you read the, this message is here, it reads, if no image logo is used, the text logo will be used instead, right? Um, the text logo is actually generated based on your uh, site name, and the site name can be changed by going to settings general. So let's say I don't have a logo. For some reason, I didn't create the logo um, and I just want to use a text logo, save all changes, go back to our site and click refresh. Now you can see here that we only have a title, a creative team, right. This is actually the, um, the same name that we have created when I installed the theme and created the, this uh, site for the first time. So if I go to settings general, I can change this to anything I want. My business name, for instance, save changes, go back and hit refresh. Now you can see that the name uh, also changed. Right, let's go back to appearance team options and play around uh, with the settings for the text logo. Uh, now we can change here the text logo uh, pixels, which by default is uh, 24. I'm going to increase this maybe to something a bit larger. Save all changes. Let's see how our name looks like now. Okay, so this is uh, a bigger name. I can go here and change the logo color to white and also the logo color on hover effect. So instead of this green, maybe I want uh, some red. Save all changes. Go back, hit refresh. 
Now you can see that we have the white uh, color for the uh, text logo and when you hover your mouse you'll see the, the red color in action. Right. So I'm just going to um, disable this top padding to zero, save all changes, go back, hit refresh and you can see that the top padding has been removed. Okay, let's go back and the final options that we can use for the text logo is, um, the, is to enable the tagline. So if I enable this option here, you'll see that the tagline will appear below the uh, text logo. So it changes, go back to our site, hit refresh. And you can see here a smaller title, which reads just another WordPress site. Again, this is a uh, text which you can change by going to settings uh, general. And I can enter here, Creativo is our best team. Save changes. Go back to appearance team options. Scroll down and I want to change the tagline color as well. I want to make it um, maybe a blue color or maybe a green color better. And of course, I want the font size to be a lot bigger. Save all changes. Go back, hit refresh. And you can see that the uh, tagline text has been updated, as well as the color that it's now being used is the one that uh, we set under the theme options. Right, so this is basically um, at the moment, all the options that you can use for the logo and fav icon uh, of your site. Hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and uh, see you next time.